beneath Egypt's timeless sands, a discovery was made. One that doesn't teach us rewrite history. It shatters the logic of everything we thought we knew about ancient civilizations. Join us as we peel back the layers of millennia. It's a tale of intrigue, lost knowledge, and a shocking revelation that challenges everything we once believed. A team of Egyptologists stumbled upon a mysterious underground structure. But this wasn't just another temple. It had pipes, chambers, water channels that still held moisture. A hydraulic system built over 4,000 years ago. How could an ancient society, without modern tools, without electricity, design a water-powered mechanism so complex, so precise, it rivals some of today's engineering? This is not a myth. This is real history, uncovered. The discovery, unearthed during a routine survey of Egypt's Nile Valley, has sent ripples of excitement and confusion through the academic community. But before we dive into the details, let me ask you a question. Do you think ancient civilizations like the Egyptians possess technologies we've yet to understand? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Built along the River Nile, this structure defied expectations in every way imaginable. You see, ancient Egypt was a society that thrived around the River Nile. And while we know they were advanced in their understanding of mathematics and astronomy, the idea of an intricate hydraulic system remained a mystery. It was like finding a smartphone in a cave. Just when you thought you understood the level of development, something like this turns up. Located in a region not far from the ruins of Abydos, the site was first identified through subtle variations in the tell, the layer of sediment covering the archaeological site. In other words, it wasn't so much what was found as what was discovered by the absence of something. This particular tell lacked the usual accumulation of material, suggesting something man-made was beneath it. It was like the ancient builders were hiding their secrets right under our noses. So what did they build? The team embarked on excavations to uncover the truth. As the earth yielded its secrets, the excavators found themselves facing a labyrinth of tunnels. These weren't natural caves, but meticulously dug chambers hidden beneath the ground. It was as if someone wanted to keep them secret for all these years. The layout of these tunnels was anything but random. They followed a design, a pattern that indicated a purpose, a function. But what? This begs the question, who designed these tunnels and why? Were they part of a grand plan or a mere coincidence? But there was more. Within the chambers, they found stone channels, intricate pathways carved out of solid stone. But that's not all. These channels seem to regulate the flow of water, suggesting a sophisticated understanding of hydraulics. In fact, the whole system looked like a well-designed aqueduct. It's important to note that this isn't just a collection of old tunnels. No, it's an ingeniously designed system of water regulation. Now you might ask, how can you tell it's a water regulation system? Well, it's not just about what the system looks like. It's also about what it does, or rather, what it did. Imagine walking into a dark room and seeing nothing but empty space. Yet you can feel the presence of something, a lingering chill or a sudden gust of wind. That's how the discovery unfolded for the researchers. There was an inexplicable sensation of moisture, a tangible humidity within these chambers. In other words, they found evidence of flowing water. But how could water still be flowing after all these years? Think of it like an old, abandoned house. You can still feel the echoes of laughter and life within its four walls. Similarly, these chambers seem to resonate with the memory of flowing water. But there was more. The team found fragments of copper piping, remnants of a time when water coursed through these very channels. Picture an archaeologist carefully brushing away the sand, revealing a piece of metal, a fragment that speaks of a bygone era. That's the kind of discovery we're talking about. To understand the significance, consider the remoteness of the location. It's not near any significant water source, which makes the idea of a concealed irrigation system even more puzzling. Why would they build such a system in a remote area? And here's where things get really interesting. These underground structures, initially thought to be independent chambers, turned out to be interconnected. It was like a subterranean city, a hidden labyrinth beneath the sands of time. As the research progressed, the true nature of the site became clearer. It wasn't just a series of tunnels or a hidden chamber. It was a well-planned hydraulic structure, 
a testament to the ingenuity of the ancient builders. It was as if they had designed a secret underground world. But what was its purpose? Why would ancient builders construct such a complex system deep underground? Here's where the story takes a turn. The entire structure was not merely a hidden marvel. It was designed to manipulate water, to control its flow using gravity and hydraulic principles. It was like an underground water park, but instead of fun and games, it was intended for something far more practical, water management. Think about it. If the ancient Egyptians could create such a complex hydraulic system, what else might they have accomplished? Their understanding of science and engineering was clearly advanced beyond what we've given them credit for. But there's a twist. The structure didn't just channel water. It had mechanisms that regulated pressure, valves that opened and closed, and even devices that measured the flow. In other words, it was a masterpiece of ancient engineering. Now imagine standing in front of this ancient marvel, feeling the cool touch of water on your skin. That's the kind of experience we're talking about. It's not just a historical artifact, it's a living testament to the brilliance of the past. But the mystery deepens. How did the ancient Egyptians accomplish this feat without modern tools or technology? How did they measure pressure, regulate flow, and create a system that still stands the test of time? Think about it. Without electricity, how did they power this system? Without computers, how did they design it? Without modern materials, how did they build it? The answers lie buried in the sands of time, waiting to be uncovered. Now let's shift focus to the expert opinions. The discovery sent shockwaves through the academic community, leaving experts both intrigued and puzzled. One can only imagine the scene. Dusty books, musty archives, and scholars poring over ancient texts. That's where the experts were when this discovery was made. Take, for example, Dr. Zahi Hawass, a name synonymous with Egyptian archaeology. His reaction was one of surprise, tinged with disbelief. It was as if the discovery had caught him off guard, challenging his understanding of ancient Egypt. Dr. Hani El Azazi, an Egyptian geologist, likened it to a hidden treasure, emphasizing the importance of scientific research to truly appreciate its value. In other words, it wasn't just a chance find, it was a treasure trove of knowledge. Yet amidst the awe and wonder, conservative voices emerged. Scholars like Dr. Barry J. Kemp cautioned against jumping to conclusions. After all, understanding the true purpose and complexity of the structure requires careful analysis. It's like deciphering a cryptic message. Each piece of evidence is a clue leading to a deeper understanding, but it takes time and expertise to unravel the code. Now you might be wondering what happens next. The discovery is made, the experts are consulted. So what's the next step? Well, the answer lies in further exploration and research. Excavations are ongoing, each layer of sand, each artifact providing a piece of the puzzle. The goal is to understand the site's purpose, its connection to the surrounding area, and its place in ancient Egyptian history. Imagine an archeologist carefully brushing away dirt revealing a carving or an inscription that sheds light on the structure. That's the kind of discovery we're talking about. It's not just an object, it's a key to the past. But why is this discovery so important? Why should we care about a hydraulic system from thousands of years ago? Well, here's why. It challenges our perception of ancient civilizations. It forces us to rethink what we thought we knew about their capabilities and achievements. It's like discovering a masterpiece in a forgotten corner. In a world where technology seems to advance by leaps and bounds, it's easy to forget the brilliance of our ancestors. This discovery is a reminder of their ingenuity, a testament to their ability to solve complex problems without the aid of modern tools. In conclusion, the underground structure in Egypt is more than just a collection of tunnels. It's a testament to the ingenuity of ancient builders, a challenge to our understanding of history, and a reminder of the rich tapestry of our past. It's a story that continues to unfold, promising to reveal more secrets as time goes by. But what about you? What are your thoughts on this fascinating discovery? Do you believe it challenges our understanding of ancient Egypt? Drop your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep discovering.